Hello world of YouTube and welcome to another conversation, an awkwardly placed one. Apologize for you guys being down there. I uh, I just don't have i uh, I'm just gonna go this way. I don't have a mount in my new car yet, but we're on my new car, so that's exciting. Uh, subject of this month, keeping it, pulling it back, you know, the world uh, is still going through a lot right now. We just had our elections and uh, I wanna talk about a different controversy with a different head-to-head. -head. Uh, this video is being posted and was is filmed between the launch of the Xbox Series X and the, um, the PS5. And both of these consoles are riddled with <clears throat> very similar controversies that I feel like could have stemmed, that could have been put off if they just waited. They just waited another year. Should have been fine. But they didn't, and that's on them. Uh, the biggest controversy before now was the price. Nobody knew for the longest time how much these motherfuckers were going to cost. And consoles are expensive. They didn't know if there was going to be a price hike because it's new technology or it's like better technology. People didn't know what to expect with that. <clears throat> and then also, people didn't know, like, eventually if they were even going to get one because, like, Sony has been canceling pre-orders. I've had friends. Their pre-orders have been canceled. Because, uh... And this is, stems from the biggest issue I've taken from, from both of these consoles that I feel like is going to lead to a horrible console launch. But... Manufacturing issues. They are not making nearly enough of these to, to viably sell or make a profit. And I don't know what they're doing. You know, they... So many stores, I've seen stories and, and heard stuff of stores getting very few pre-orders or very few actual units. You know, some stores are getting them in cycles. Who knows how many each is going to be in each cycle, you know. And yet, even though they're having this many manufacturing and distribution issues, they're able to give them away to so many influencers and celebrities and, and even like friends of friends and stuff. And it feels really weird. There's a lot of, like, suspicious shit going on around this console launch that I'm not too excited about, you know? And I've had people ask me, you know, because obviously I'm a, I'm a hashtag super gamer boy, which console I'm going to get, you know? Because I have a PS4, I have a 360, and I have a Switch. I have no... I follow my friends. Like, I, I, I like to play games with friends, so I get whatever my friends are getting normally. Uh, I've talked to Shake. It seems like he's getting a PS5. Uh, and so, yeah, I'll probably be getting a PS5 eventually, but I always tell people, like, I'm not going to get anything until they can sustainably manufacture them, you know, until they can actually manufacture enough to get out to the people. I'm, I'm not getting them. I'm not getting one because that reads to me like COVID affected your production, which is what's leading to less numbers or COVID affected the development. Because, like, I've seen tweets of people who have, like, um, Adam Sessler tweeted, he had an Xbox, and uh, he was having issues with it. It was, like, roaringly loud. There was lots of issues with his fan and stuff like that, and that's my fear. Like, I don't normally buy consoles at launch anyway because, I mean, the Xbox 360 should tell people not to do that in general. Given how spotty this sort of pre-hype cycle has gone... I'm really hesitant to buy these consoles because I don't think they're going to work that well on launch. Like, more so than the last generation. You know, I feel like launches can always be a, a, a touchy time, but, like, this launch, it feels like it's going to be the worst the game industry has seen because of these, these factors. You know, even COVID. Like, people aren't... Like, the masses, I feel like, there's going to be a lot of people who want to get one but won't be able to because they were either out of work for an extended period of time and don't have the money for it, or they still don't have a job, and they're sort of, sort of having to hold off on buying it. I feel like it's the worst time to launch any big tech product, in my opinion. You know, I mean, they launched an iPhone. I don't know how well those numbers are doing, but I feel like the times have not gone back to normal yet. Uh, people are not financially stable, and it seems these tech, the, the both console manufacturers are not stable to manufacture them. So why not put it off a year? You know, I know you guys were building hype for this last year, but when shit started to hit the fan, 
you should have had a contingency plan or you should have developed a contingency plan to delay mass production of these consoles and development of these consoles so that way you can get them right. Because it, where it stands right now, I feel like y'all are just churn, shitting out a product that you aren't satisfied with to make some sort of weird de arbitrary deadline that you set for yourself. And it sucks. Because, like, I don't know, I was pretty hyped for these consoles. Now that I know that Spider-Man My Miles Morales is coming to the PS4, though, I don't give a shit. I'll wait. I'll wait to get a PS5. Because that is what I was going to get a PS5 for. So, you know, I can already wait. But, I don't know, man. This whole console launch is just is just really not sitting well with me. I don't know what you guys think about it. What do you guys think about this console launch? Uh, are you still hyped? Which one are you getting? Are you getting a PS5 or an Xbox Series X? Let me know in those comments down below. Um, conversation's kind of short this month. I just I had a lot of thoughts on it. Or I had some thoughts. I don't, I don't want to say six minutes worth of content is a lot of thoughts. But I had some thoughts on the launch of the consoles. I'm not... I'm really hesitant for it. But I'm hoping that come early next year, they launch... They develop, they make more, they manufacture more, and uh, that leads to them selling more, or they're able to keep them stable, you know? Um, but let me know what you think. I'm going to get out of here, though. If you like this video, be sure, to, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see more of my music, gaming, and general nerdery content, be sure to subscribe. Special thanks to my patrons. If you want to join the ranks to get early access to content, exclusive content, or to help drive the community, it's linked in the description. Um, I have been Viral Rack. You guys are good at situations, and I'll see you another day.